Hi. Welcome back to Quoti. In this video, we are going to look at how to alter the data to suit your own cake business. Here is the data tab. This is your master list of all the cake sizes and shapes you offer, their serving sizes and their base prices. The list that's on the data tab feeds into the list that's on the Quoti tab, the list that your customer will be viewing. Any changes made to the data list will automatically change the list on the Quoti page. With one exception, if you choose to delete an option from the data list, you must also delete it from the Quoti list, we will go through that shortly. Now that we have an idea on how it works, let's alter our list to suit our cake business. Firstly, to be able to edit Quoti you will need to click on Review, then click Unprotect Sheet. This will open up all the cells for editing. You will need to repeat that on any of the sheets that you'd like to edit. Now let's get rid of the size and shape options that you do not offer. Look through the data list until you find an option that you'd like to get rid of. Right click, go to delete, then row. You have now deleted this option off your data list, you will now need to delete the same option on the Quoti list. Go over to the Quoti tab, and you will find that the place where your deleted option was has now changed to gibberish. You will just need to right click, press delete, then row. You can go through the whole data list and delete any of the options that you do not want. Go over to the Quoti tab and delete them easily by looking for the ones with the gibberish. Now that we have updated our list, the next step is to change the portion sizes. If your portion sizes are not the same as mine, then all you'll need to do is double-click on the option you'd like to change and type in your number. You can repeat this process for all the options. You can even change the name of the portion sizes by double-clicking on the heading. Next up, pricing. When you download Quoti, you'll have two files to choose from. Quoti and Quoti blank. The only difference between the two is the pricing section, Quoti Blank allows you to input your prices manually. The original has a more automatic approach. Here I will demonstrate the original Quoti version. As you can see, we have light pink sections and dark pink sections. The light pink area show the base prices of the single tier, single height cake sizes in each shape. The dark pink sections have a mathematical formula applied to them, they will take the price on the light pink sections and alter them to present a price that reflects their size. I know that's hard to understand, so here's a demonstration. Looking at the 4-inch round cake our base buttercream price is $140, looking down we can see our 4-inch extended round cake, and its base buttercream price is $175. This is 25% more than the first base price. The 4-inch double barrel is 50% more than the base price. Now I'm going to show you how you can change the prices. Please keep in mind that these will be your base prices. On top of these prices you'll be adding on the prices for figures, flowers and more. To change the prices, you will need to see the formula bar. So click on View, then check the formula bar checkbox. Now click on the price that you would like to change, and looking at the formula, you'll see the original price plus some formula nonsense. Only change the number. Once changed, you'll see that it has altered all of the prices in the list which include the original shape and size that you've changed. You can continue to change all the prices in the light pink boxes of each shape to your desired prices. You can also change the fondant base prices too. By changing only the light pink boxes, you'll have updated the whole list, every tiered option, extended and double barrel options. You may have noticed this box up here called Price Updata. This is a magic box that I decided to add to help alter your prices easily. All you have to do is type in what percentage you'd like to prices to go up or down. This will automatically alter all the prices on your list. This is a quick and easy way to up your prices as your expenses go up or to reflect your increased skill level. You can also bring it down, if you feel you need to. Now that all your data has been updated to your preferences, you can now remove the formula bar by clicking View and UN checking the formula bar checkbox. 
and to avoid accidentally changing a formula or your prices. You should also protect your sheet as well by clicking Review, Protect Sheet and OK. Your quotee list has now updated to the information that you've changed on the data list and will reflect your business. But does it look like your business? Here's a couple of easy ways you can customize the Quotee tab to reflect your business. Firstly, you can change the color of the heading bar by highlighting the bar, clicking on Home, then changing the paint bucket color. You can also change the font and color of the text. The banner color can be changed by clicking on it, going to Format, then clicking on Color, there you can switch it to any color you like the look of. You can also add in your logo by clicking Insert, Pictures and choosing your logo. You can also change the banner completely by right-clicking on it and choosing Change Picture. There you can choose a banner that you have made to swap it to. Once you've finished fiddling around, remember to also protect this sheet too. There we have it, your quote is personalized and ready to go. I hope you enjoy this program and I look forward to hearing your feedback and providing updates and new features too. Thanks for watching.